we're gonna need this. So for, uh, we were done our training at noon, right? And uh, so I go into the office and ask them, well, you know what's next? What do you got for me for this afternoon? Dauphin. They're sending me to Dauphin. Four hours away and four hours back. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I just find it, <laughs> find it necessary to explain my extra large double espresso coffee. It's gonna be a long day today. So I'm bobtailing into Winnipeg here. We're gonna go pick up a trailer and we're gonna bring that trailer to Dauphin. Leave it there. We're gonna grab a trailer that's already there. It's empty. A whole load of sailboat fuel. We're gonna bring it all the way back to Winnipeg. Drop it in Winnipeg. Bobtail back to the yard. I'm hoping to be back at the yard between like 10 and 11 tonight. So we get some highway driving today. I'm 
supposed to be using those. We'll probably turn them off. Coming into town. <laughs> Oops. Where are we going here? Right there with the blue trailers. I got one of those blue trailers behind me right now. We're gonna leave this one here and take an empty one back to Winnipeg. Anybody want some liquid syrup and tasty chemicals? I got your stuff. I used to work for Pepsi 10 years ago. I was there for five years. I thought I quit. Turns out I'm still working for them <laughs> in a roundabout way. Okay, so I'm not taking those trailers. I never actually went to this facility. I worked at the Winnipeg location and I drove trucks like that with the side doors. I probably pulled that exact trailer because the, the trailers go back and forth every now and then. There's another one over there. I probably pulled that around many days. Okay, I think they want this. Is there two doors here? Okay, good. So I'm gonna drop this one in this door and I'm gonna take that one out of that door. I believe that's what's happening here. Let's back her in. Ooh, that trailer's a lot cleaner than the one I got. Idle free zone. Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to idle my truck while I'm backing into the dock. I'm sorry. Thirty-eight thousand pounds behind me in the trailer. It's a roll-up door. I should probably actually put uh, a bill of lading in there, I guess. I have it here in the truck with me. Well, before we leave Dauphin, since we're on like a little mini long haul trip, we'll call it that. How about that? Is that okay? It's the longest trip I've done in a while. It's only uh, two hours up to Arbor, right? And it's three and a half hours up to here. We have to stop at Timmy's. It's obligatory. Big word, I know. I'm a fancy guy. That means you have to. Before we leave off, we're gonna grab some Timmy's. I have to get some supper anyways, cause I'll be working. Well, I'll only get home around midnight, maybe after. So I gotta grab supper and fend for myself out here. Timmy's it is. And we're headed back. Right now we're going over the Narrows. This is going over Lake Manitoba at the narrowest point. That's why they called it the Narrows. I'm pretty sure, I mean, don't quote me on that. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure. Sort of makes me want to go do some fishing. Look at all those pontoons down there. Oh, doesn't that just make you want to get out on the water? Oh, there's, there's big birds over there. What are those, swans? Holes are huge. Wow. So, have you guys ever noticed this? You guys who drive uh, semi-trucks and motorcycles. Do you ever like mix up who you're waving to? Because you know when you're riding the motorcycle, you always give the wave to other motorcycle riders, right? As you're passing them, you give the little wave. Just a respect thing, you wave. And when you're a trucker, you wave to other truckers. Same thing, right? Well, do you ever get it mixed up? Because I've been driving the semi-truck here and I've been waving at motorcycles. And when I'm on my motorcycle, I found myself waving at truckers sometimes. I get it mixed up. I'm just waving at everybody. <laughs> There's a statue of Bigfoot over there. What do you know? You see that? Anyways, I've had quite a bit of footage from today already. It's been an exciting day. So uh, I've got to drop this 
empty trailer, like I said, in Winnipeg, and then bobtail back to the yard, get on the motorcycle. It's going to be a night ride uh, headed home today. I haven't ro uh, ridden this bike at night yet, so I guess we'll see how that uh, headlight does, eh? <laughs> going to be riding home around midnight. Well, it's quarter to 11. I've just got back to Winnipeg. <laughs> Took longer than I expected, too. We just went there and came straight back. No stops. This is my first stop. We're going to get fuel here at the Petro Pass on uh, Oak Point Highway, just inside of Winnipeg. May as well fuel up tonight because tomorrow I've got to take a trip up to Toulon and I don't think I'll have the time then. So we may as well just fuel up here and we'll drop this trailer and head home. I'm getting tired. It's going to be time to go to bed for sure by the time we get home. Haven't driven at night in a while though, eh? <laughs> All tucked in for the night. Their brothers and sisters. It's midnight. And I gotta walk all the way to the other side of the yard. Cause that's where I parked my bike. And then we're gonna take a midnight ride home. <laughs> it's been a while since I've ridden at night. Like a long while. I haven't done it with this bike yet. It's been years since I, I never really liked it on my Honda CBR because the, the dims were way too dim. I couldn't see very far. The high beams were great, but you can't ride down the highway with your high beams on all the time, especially on two lane roads. Uh, blinding everybody coming at you. So hopefully the lights on this bike are decent. <laughs> Better than decent. We'll be fine. I'll be home in about a half hour. Take a quick shower, straight to bed. Gotta be back here in 10 hours. One of those, I guess that flatbed roll tight right there. We're gonna be taking it uh, up to Toulon tomorrow. Should be a shorter day, but today was a long one. We started at, well, we got here at 8 a.m. Yeah, that's a full day, that's as full as you can make it. So this was probably a longer than usual vlog, or maybe I split it in, into two parts, who knows. Whatever the case, thanks for watching. Glad you're here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Helps me out a whole lot. If you subscribe, you get notifications. If you hit that notification bell when my next video goes live, make new videos almost every day, pretty much. And we keep learning new skills and pretty soon we'll be operating the knuckle boom truck, hauling poles all over Manitoba. It's gonna be fun. Love it if you'd stick around. Today is over though. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.